Welcome back to N1 Electrical Trade Theory. And in this part of uh, module four, we'll be taking a look at resistors in series and resistors in parallel. This makes up 30% of the curriculum towards the final exam. Please hit that like and share button and subscribe to this channel. Now for resistors in series, we find that current will be the same throughout the circuit and voltage is divided. Therefore, to calculate the total voltage, it'll be the sum of the volt drops. The total resistance will be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. For this example, three resistors of 10 ohms, 20 ohms, and 30 ohms are connected in series across the 180 volt supply. Draw the above circuit and then calculate the following. So looking at our circuit diagram, we have three resistors connected in series with a volt drop across each resistor. To calculate the total resistance, it'll be R1 plus R2 plus R3. And we end up with a total resistance of 60 ohms. To calculate the total current flow throughout the circuit, we're gonna use Ohm's law. I is equal to V over R. The supply voltage of 180 divided by the resistance total of 60 ohms. It means that we have current flowing throughout the circuit of three amps. Now to calculate the voltage drops across each resistor using Ohm's law, V is equal to I times R. The supply voltage is equal to the sum of the volt drops. Now using Ohm's law, we note that the current throughout the series circuit remains the same. Therefore, it's three amps. The value of R1 is 10 ohms. The value of R2, 20 ohms and the value of R3, 30 ohms. Therefore, if we add up the voltage drops, we'll find that it will be the same as the supply voltage of 180 volts. Now for resistors in parallel, the first formula that we see is the formula that's available to you in the formula sheet. One over RT is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. Now using this formula, you need to remember that at the end of a calculation, you need to invert the answers in order to get the correct answer. However, if you look at the formula in the second part, you'll note that I've taken everything, put it inside brackets, all to the power of minus one. And using this method, I find I make, I make less calculation errors. Now for voltage uh, and current in a parallel circuit, we find that voltage remains the same and current is divided. In this example, for a parallel circuit, we have three resistors of 40 ohms, 50 ohms, and 60 ohms, and they are connected in parallel across the 250 volt supply. Now I determine the following. To calculate the total resistance of the circuit, now to calculate resistance in parallel inside our big brackets, it will be one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3, all to the power of minus one. And therefore we end up with a total resistance across the parallel branch of 16,216 ohms. To calculate the total current throughout the circuit using Ohm's law, we have three resistors of 40 ohms, 50 ohms, and 60 ohms. To calculate the total current throughout the circuit using Ohm's law, current is equal to voltage divided by the resistance total. Therefore, the total supply current throughout the circuit is 15,417 amps. The volt drops across each resistor. Now, this question can be a little bit misleading because this is a parallel branch and we find that voltage remains the same across the parallel branch. Therefore, the supply voltage will be the same as V1, V2, and V3, which is 250 volts. Now to calculate the current flow through each resistor, so therefore current in the first branch will be I1, current in the second branch will be I2, and current in the third branch will be R3. Now we find that the supply voltage is the same as the voltage across each resistor, which is 250 volts. The value of R1 is 40, the value of R2 is 50, and the value of R3 is 60. Now, if we add up the current through each branch, it will be the same as the supply current. Now, in this last example, we have a series parallel combination, and we need to determine the total resistance. 
Now we found that R1, R2, and R6 are connected in series. And this combination is connected in series to a parallel branch with resistors R3, R4, and R5 connected in parallel. So to determine the total resistance, it'll be the parallel branch plus the resistors in series. To determine the, the value of the parallel branch, it'll be one over R3 plus one over R4 plus one over R5, all to the power of minus one. And then we will add the resistors in series. The resistors in series are the five ohm, the three ohm, and the two ohm resistor. If we add up those two values together, we end up with a resistance total of 14,615 ohms. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to follow the other parts for module four and to hit that like and share button. Thank you.